When fusion splicing, you first have to cleave the fiber, and to cleave the fiber, you have to remove the 900 micron tight buffer and the 250 micron acrylic coating. Do this by removing about a quarter inch at a time, and make sure the 250 micron acrylic coating was in fact removed. Wipe the fiber with isopropyl alcohol in a lint-free cloth and make sure that it is in fact clean. To easily load the fiber into the fiber adapter, lay the fiber into the groove and draw the fiber back until the 900 micron tight buffer is at the very end of the fiber adapter and then close the cover. To cleave the fiber, load the fiber adapter into the cleaver. Close the cover. Slide the cleaving wheel backwards. Collect the fiber end cut and dispose of it in a secure disposal unit. The fiber is now ready for fusion splicing. Once the fiber has been cleaved, you can load the fiber adapters into the holders in the fusion splicer. Once the other fiber has been cleaved and inserted into the fusion splicer, you can close the dust cover and the splicing process will start, or you press the set button if so desired. The cleave angle is analyzed, 3 degrees is the limit. The fusion splice is performed all within 9 seconds. Once the splice is complete, carefully remove the fiber from the fiber adapters. Then position the splice sleeve protector over the center of the splice. Then place the splice protector into the oven. Push the heat button. Since this is a 60 mm splice sleeve, it will take approximately 30 seconds of heating time. When the splice protector protection sleeve is fully shrunk, the user can remove the fusion splice from the oven and place it in the cooling tray.